I mean, it's a disgusting place tonight. It's a filthy city. Look at Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 8. The Bible reads, And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, thou nor thy sons with thee, when thou go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean, and that you may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken of them by the hand of Moses. God's saying, look, you need to take heed unto my laws and my statutes. You need to teach the Bible to people so that they can put a difference between clean and unclean. Isn't it interesting that when a city is wicked and turns away from God, that they are covered in filth, literal filth. Why? They don't put a difference between clean and unclean. Isn't it interesting that the same people who can't figure out the difference between male and female, they also can't tell the difference between clean and unclean, and they've turned their beautiful city into one large outdoor toilet because they hate God's word. They hate God's laws. They don't want Leviticus 2013. Well, it turns out they don't want Deuteronomy 23 either, so they'll just defecate wherever they find a place. The Bible says, if you flip over to Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 44, it gives something similar to what we saw in Leviticus chapter 10. He said, look, don't drink wine. Don't drink strong drink. What is one of the effects of alcohol? You won't be able to tell the difference between clean and unclean. Who are all these people that are just using the restroom all over the street? Well, most of them are drug addicted or drunk or both to do something like that in that city. Look at Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 20. Neither shall they shave their heads, nor suffer the locks, their locks to grow long. They shall only pull their heads. Polling means just to cut a short haircut, not to cut it all the way off bald and not to grow long hair. Verse 21. Neither shall any priest drink wine when they enter into the court. Neither shall they take for their wives a widow nor her that is put away, but they shall take maidens of the seed of the house of Israel or a widow that had a priest before. And they shall teach my people the difference between holy and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. You know, God wants us to know the difference between what's dirty and what's clean, what's sanitary and what's unsanitary. It's a disgrace when we have filth and unsanitary, dirty things and germs everywhere. God says if he finds that unclean stuff, he'll turn away from you. Uh, 20,219 complaints made over the phone where people called the city of San Francisco and complained about human waste. 6,207 complaints made. Can you imagine how, just do the math on this. In one year, people picked up the phone over 20,000 times? I mean, how many times is that per day? Like 60 times a day, they're picking up the phone and saying, um, excuse me, city of San Francisco, there's human waste in the street. Can you clean this up? They just keep calling. Nothing's done about it. 